What's up, everybody? Apparently, I was looking at this wrong. So, they cut... They actually just killed Vietnam's trade node, actually. They put the top half in the Liangguang node, which is up here, and they put the bottom half in the Champa Sea with the uh, Philippines. So, before it used to be... I think this was one node, and then the Philippines was a separate node, so they just took the node that belonged to Vietnam and split it between two existing nodes. So, I'd have to conquer the southern portion of Vietnam in order to uh, dominate the Champa Sea node. I was looking for the this box over here, and then I didn't see it, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, it's over here, actually. It's weird, because I'm pretty sure the box should be right here, so they removed the box, but they still have these arrows, as if there is still a box there. So that is now all rolled into one. I've moved my troops from over here, over here, so we can continue the conquests. Um, the Malacca node is still small, relatively small, so if I can conquer a chunk of this peninsula, that should give me a dominant share in this node. And then that will connect. I technically have a province here, but it doesn't have commerce, so if I can get some commerce provinces in the Malacca Strait node, then that would connect me to these Asian, the uh, Chinese provinces. They're allied with a lot of people. Should be fine. Yeah, Khmer, Lan Na, and Pinya are all north, so... I'm gonna go down south. Take this area and then work my way back up, because if I start up here, that stuff is just gonna get lost. I'll probably lose this province, but that's fine. Let's do light looping. A little bit of a spy network, so. And then I actually don't have enough naval materials to have these ships out, so I'll just go shipless for now. That province is gonna get taken, so those ships are gonna have to come out. Got cores going on those five provinces, those three that we conquered, and Ceylon, those two. I sold this province to Banu Yas for like 500 ducats. It's not a very special province. It actually did have a lot of salt, but I don't think it's worthwhile to do anything with that, because it's not a trade province, so I could invest a lot of money into the salt, but then I'd also have to build a fort. I'm pretty good on salt anyway. Pretty much every province in my country produces salt, since it's... Most of them border the sea, so I really don't have a salt deficit to worry about. My aristocrat levies actually cost 8... 8.7 mana now. Volunteers dropped a little bit. But my manpower dropped to 27,000, so... Let's see, what is my... Yeah, and my Discipline modifier dropped. It was at the 3% one dropped down to 2%, so... I'm not sure if their investment is really paying off yet. Granted, I have been constantly at war, so it's possible that uh, I'm burning through people too fast to get... Get that investment built up. I think Morocco should take care of these guys, maybe. There's a fort there with 2,000 people, so I could actually probably take care of them myself. Alright, let's carpet siege these provinces, grab them as fast as possible, move for their capital. Bring those guys in a port over there.
There's two Philippine provinces left. Looks like Flanders grabbed this province. Flanders, stop following me. Only one of these provinces have a trade modifier. Not a whole lot of population. I'll try and finish them off. Let's see, that is a fort level one. Yeah, they're just gonna sit up there. Should be able to move troops out of there. I own this side. We have to bring them over here. There's a tiny little divider right there. I thought this was all one C node, and then I was like, wait a minute, that's too big. No way that could be one C node. Alright, Morocco. Don't help, that's fine. I don't need your help. Now they're gonna help. Well, that would have been way too fast to do that. Alright, that should go. Put those ships back into port. The old delete your fort's manpower, or manpower trick. Never fails, Some most of the time. Have this explorer going out, go to the south pacific coast. Then I also sent three colonies here, so I'm colonizing the rest of the spice islands. Probably send my troops over here to conquer those provinces. Also have a couple extra merchants, it looks like. Let's send a merchant up here. Does that actually flow... Jiangnan, does that flow to... Okay, that flows to the Malacca, Malacca Strait, Malacca's... Mekong, yeah. Nippon, Far East, Australia Pacific. It, because it connects to the Malacca Strait, I can trade with it. It's weird that that goes all the way from over here down to the Malacca Strait. Oh no, I was looking at the Champa node. No, I cannot trade with that actually. That is the Far East node. That looks like a new node right there. I know Japan used to be two nodes, so they made that one node. I think one node was with the uh, Korean node, so they made the Korean node its own node. They added this node up here. They did the change with Vietnam as well. I can't trade with this province, with that node, but I'll, I'll put a merchant there. Can't trade with the Upper Nile. I also discovered uh, the Sahara, so I finally put a merchant there. So 
So I'm now trading there. This is show superiority, so I'm going to have to fight battles. Go ahead and spare those, that province. Make 128 ducats from raid. <laughs> The burgers actually took over the government, so I didn't promote support commerce because I wanted that extra 10% trade efficiency, so I'll go ahead and do that now. And then I can go ahead and disown an unpopular relative. That gets the nobility to 83%. Let's see, revoking this would do... It's 40, right? Okay, yeah, 40. I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now, actually, then. 10 bureaucracy corruption, negative 40%, negative 40 aristocrat loyalty, negative 35 relations between the aristocrats and the state, but negative uh, 20% mana cost for aristocrat levies, and then plus 20% times aristocrat loyalty, state manpower from the aristocrats. It's gonna hurt my corruption, but that should decrease relatively fast. It only goes up to 52%. And I should be fine on money for now. Alright. I'll discover that province. Take this province. They can take that province. Then I'll move up north. Try to fight them. Looks like they, uh... Retreated into... Unknown territory. I'm gonna invest in mines in all these provinces. I think I can also vassalize Genoa. I think that's something I want to do because I want to conquer their provinces. If I could vassalize them, that would save me having to move my troops into Europe and. The aggressive expansion. I have to improve relations with them. I've been improving relations with Bijapur because it, my relations with them have been pretty bad. Alright, let's improve relations with Genoa then. This should be a gold province right there. If they haven't changed it. Yep, there's that gold. Size 129 gold. There's only gold in that province, actually. That's pretty good. Not see their troops. I'd rather not have to loot in core, but uh, I will if I have to. Let's see, what do I actually want? Uh, Malacca would be a good start. This has a major location effect and important harbor effect, so that's pretty good. Uh, Singapore would also be nice. Has a major location effect and major harbor effect, so it's even better than Malacca. Even this province has minor harborage, minor location. Yohor Yo has a minor location effect. This province has minor location effect. Alright, so I think Singapore and Malacca are the most important. But, uh... Yeah, I think that's good. That's, uh, 
four trade provinces and then build a fort. Somewhere there. Just have to get them to accept. I've been trying to do mass investment into these provinces for food. How's that going? This province was producing uh, like 400 ducats worth of food, so it's gone down to 235. 2400 people migrating into it, and 3000 people being born. No labor, but I'm going to go ahead and put another 100 ducats into farmlands in that province. And then this one is 653 out of 810, so I think 100 ducats would be a little bit too much. This province makes 305 ducats from its mines, 229 ducats from its forestries, and 459 ducats from its farmlands. This is a... Uh, Rural powerhouse. Let's do 10 ducats in the farmlands. This province is uh, farmland size 117 out of 661. No irrigation, actually. Irrigation rank 1 is probably cheap, I imagine. Yeah, 312 ducats. That's practically cheap. Throw 100 ducats into there. This one's pretty much the same deal, no irrigation. Go ahead and pay that, and also put 100 ducats in the farmlands. Then I'll just put 10 ducats in those farmlands. Put 10 ducats into the industry in Lisbon. Because I have a houseware, I have a consumer goods and industrial goods shortage, like really bad, so maybe that'll help out. Alright, and then I'll send the last expedition to the Philippines, so that'll help out with uh, the war goal. I don't know why those troops are just sitting there. I've been doing stuff that, uh, I've been giving, like, marriages and stuff to the aristocrats, so... They're actually only improving by 0.14 power. I make 7,300 ducats. The burgers make 8,100 ducats. Even the clergy make 3,800 ducats. A little tiny province right there. Also another merchant. Okay, okay. The Amazon box is in the Andes node. I don't know why. I do have Peru over here, so when I move my troops over here, I might actually just build troops. Um, I have access to five mercs, and then another merc unit is eight troops. For some reason, I'm pretty sure this is max in terms of manpower, but it says that I can't actually hire it for six years for some reason, because they're recovering their manpower. Unless this thing is lying to me, it looks like they've already recovered their manpower. I don't think five troops is enough to get it done over here, but... 
I suppose I could build a couple cannon, a couple cav as well, and probably get them up to 9,000 troops. That should be enough to take out some of these smaller powers, I'm thinking. I don't have the force limit to it, to do it. I'd lose a little bit of money, but I think that's fine. Fortunately, I can't build over here. Because I don't own provinces. I'd have to move troops over anyway. I can build troops, just not mercs. I guess I'll just build these mercs up here and then walk them over. They're not going to get harassed or anything, so it's fine. Then I'll get started on the cannon. They're not going to be able to... They can walk over fine, but they're not going to be able to get over here unless I explore this area. Or get military access, which I doubt would happen. Actually, they would give me... Okay, they would give me military access for some reason. The weirdos would give me military access. Let's go ahead and... I'll, improve, I'll top off relations with uh, Genoa before I start proclaiming and guaranteeing them. Hey, let's go back. Kill some of these troops. Now all of a sudden these guys just showed up out of the woodwork. Might actually accept. Nope. Okay. Couple more battles they'd probably accept. They don't have an explorer. That's fine, he's a 1 5 a 2 1. That will eventually get him over here. In one year, he will make his way over there. That's still faster than bringing troops over. If I bring troops from... Like, there's a direct path from here to over here, but I'm pretty sure I would lose 75% of my men on that journey since I do not own any islands on the way there. I think all of my men would die. Where are you trying to go? Going up here? You were going up there. Don't really care about any of that stuff. They have the, um... Yeah, they have a dominant share. I think transferring trade power is kind of worthless, because I think I'm taking their best provinces from them. I'll just piece them out, get those cores started. My war exhaustion is pretty high, so... Probably better to... Piece them out. And my work session 17. I also have another merchant. Okay. Got merchants for days now. I'm going to build a fort. Here.
and then core the other provinces. Send a merchant over here. And then if I can get this province... Then I'll stop sending, obviously, over here. Probably go back to... Uh, over here. They did reduce the amount of colonial nations. So there's Colonial Mexico that I should probably get. Some reactionary warlords that have been over here for a while. I also lost uh, Flemish Mexico took the stuff from uh, Haiti, which is fine. I don't really want to station troops over there. I can't. Aff I would station troops over there if I could, but I don't have the manpower to do that, so. Until this stuff is cored, it's going to not provide much trade power, so our trade power goes back to 6%. We'll move these guys over here. And probably just call in all of these guys. Ooh, take out those guys first, actually. Because they are not allied with anybody. I haven't done a census in a while, so I'll go ahead and do that now. Because everybody loves censuses. We have population close to 19 million tenants, growing by 100,000 per year. With an inward movement of 26,000 and an outward movement of 31,000. So I think that outward movement is going to our vassals and colonial nations. So we're losing 5,000 people, so our natural, our tenant change is 95,000 people per year. Which is acceptable. 621,000 nomads. Our residents are dying by 2,200, which is not good. I think there's a lot of... There's something uh, funky going on with the residents in this campaign. I just cannot get their... Um, I think it's because I have a comfort goods shortage. So the residents in all of my cities are growing very slowly. And a lot of cities have them dying. So I think that's... I'm just going to assume it's something wrong with the uh, save, like a glitch or a bug or something. Part of that is because I can't... A lot of the provinces that I'm investing in... The stuff is not going towards everything equally, it's going towards, like, one thing. Like in Lisbon, it's disproportionately going to armaments and ships, so... I can invest more money here, but it's not going towards houseware or process materials, so that's why I have a shortage. Which I'll just have to deal with. We're still growing by about 10,000 because of inward movement. And then uh, burgers. Burgers are dying a little bit, but the, they have 263 inward movement, so that's fine. Clergy are growing a little bit. It's not because the residents can't pay for stuff, which is weird because I feel like I should be trading for that stuff. And the tenants are positive. Their life 1.6, comfort 0.8, their luxury is also 0.5 as well. The residents are making 5.5 and spending 4.6. So I would think that they would be able to trade for stuff. Maybe that's global then. That's a global problem. So they're not able to trade for luxury stuff because there's not enough stuff to trade for. Aristocrats are doing fine. Burgers are doing extremely fine. Clergy are doing fine as well. Industry food deficit of 1,200. Despite me throwing ducats after ducats into food. 
I don't think it's that much of a problem. The tenants are fine, growing by 100,000, so... Salt's good. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna keep investing into food. Fiber, massive fiber deficit. Good fuel surplus, good raw material surplus, good exotic good surplus. And then obviously consumer goods not doing too good. Industrial goods not doing too good. Luxury is decent. Military, a little bit of a deficit. And naval is good. Knowledge has a little bit of a surplus. 1500 commerce overall. Yeah, so I'm going to keep investing in food. Especially down here. I think I'm eventually going to conquer Madagascar, which should have a good... Yeah, Madagascar has a good farm sizes in most of their provinces. So they also have a lot of people in their provinces, so that would be good for both people and food. Yeah, most of the the ones that I'm looking at are all... Their farmland size are all, is all above 1,000, so these would be good provinces to conquer. Once I get to them. Everybody wants military access. No. The next admin size gives a little bit of maximum resource size, so I'll go ahead and grab that. Plus 5% rural goods produced. A little bit of max centralization. That'll help out with food production. Alright, I believe that is all of the Philippines, because I don't think this is... I don't think Taiwan is considered Philippines. I'm not going to check. I do not want Taiwan, because China always attacks whoever controls Taiwan, so I'd rather not get into a fight with them. I'd rather not die. They can, uh, they can colonize those islands themselves, or Flanders can do it. I will not do it for them. I'm going to go ahead and do another strategic marriage with the aristocrats. Get them to 50%. The aristocrat levy dropped down to 4.9. And yet manpower increased, so... That is not what I would have expected. Okay, this expired. Holy War expired. Yep, there it is. Grants Village CB. Go ahead and take them out. Could be a very quick war over there. He's finished. I assume they have ivory. I think I checked that they had ivory when I before I took them. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and throw. Thirty ducats in their Mines. Those guys are still slow walking it over here. Probably should have waited to uh, attack so I could do this wars at the same time, but this should be a pretty quick war anyway. Alright, let's go to... Atlantic, Mexico. I do have one province over there. It's actually occupied right now. Alright, Brazil can have that province. That's the coastline of Brazil. My fort defense is negative 5% because of war exhaustion. Those uh, war exhaustion problems started because of, like, Spain fighting Genoa.
All right, they're out of their war. Go ahead and guarantee them. Take a claim over there. The Trade League of Genoa disbanded. That's actually good. Because they would transfer trade power then. Maybe 333, three, three, very average. Give me your trade power, Genoa. They have a lot of trade power, and they just gave half of it to me. There's a good bit of ducats. Let's go send Merchant 2. Really don't have many places to put these merchants anymore. Mexico. And up there, I can actually trade with uh, Punjab when I get another merchant. All right, you give me everything. Thanks for playing. I core those provinces. Should be spices. 222 spice size. Producing 13 exotics in that province with no irrigation that I can build, and this province has... 174 size spices with... Uh, It's not on that screen. Also, no irrigation in that province. And then these three are colonies. This one is completed. We'll go ahead and put uh, 10 ducats into... I'm going to put 30 ducats into that province. and build irrigation. We're at 95 ducats. All right, those guys are going over there. I will ally Genoa. And they should want to accept vassalization at the end of this month. At the end of next month. They're giving me a couple ducats worth of uh, trade. Alright, Genoa has accepted our vassalization request. And I should be able to annex Nice at the end of this year. Give grain to get that uh, percentage point back. Get that uh, stability point back, is what I mean. These guys ended up all the way over here. Let's go to the... North Pacific. These guys are allied with I don't know who, as I haven't ex discovered them yet. Alright, I'm going to end this part here, because it's been about 40 minutes, so...
We conquered this little bit at the tip of Malacca, and then this uh, couple of Spice Island provinces, and then I'll conquer the rest of these Spice Islands in the next episode. So the conquest continues. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.